as you can see, we've got the kettle. The power of the kettle is on the label at the bottom, 3,000 watts. In fact, it says 2,755 to 3,000, so let's make it 2,900, somewhere in, more in the middle. I've got 1,000 centimetre cubes of water, which is 1,000 grams, because the density of water is one gram per centimetre cube, so that has a mass of a kilogram. I'm going to bring it from 21, which is its current temperature, pre-measured with a thermometer, up to 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of water. So let's go ahead and pull, not plug, pour the water in to the kettle. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to switch it on and turn the stopwatch on at the same time. So that is going to start boiling. Now, we know the energy input by the kettle is going to be the power of the kettle times by the time it's on for. That's going to equal the energy input to the water, which is going to be mc delta theta, where c is the specific capacity of water. If we put the numbers in, 2,900 times by 2 is 1 kilogram times 4,200 times the change in temperature, which is about 80, let's just go up 20. Now, the kettle will not be 100% efficient. Think about why that is. That's a clue. Let's say it's 90% efficient, which means I need to put 90% or 0.9 in it, because only 0 0.9 of the energy input is going to actually go into the water. If we don't work out the time we expect the boiling to take, right, so the time the kettle to bring the kettle takes to bring the water up the boiling point, we'd expect something which is approximately that number. Now, mental arithmetic's never been my strong point, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the calculator. 0.9 times 2,900. We're looking at roughly 129, so 130 seconds. So that's assuming 90% efficiency. So, we're going to wait for the kettle to boil. We're 90 seconds currently. Now, if you wanted to, and it would be easy to do this, you could take each of these and put an uncertainty on it. There's an uncertainty on every measurement you make in physics. You could then follow that through to work out the uncertainty on your temperature. Today I'm not going to do that because this is just meant to be your approximate. I'm going to bring the stopwatch closer so you can see this. There's the kettle. So as soon as the kettle starts to boil, I'm going to stop the stopwatch. So we're looking for bubbles down here. I'm not going to look at the stopwatch. You can see bubbles. I can see bubbles. Trust me, they're there. Two minutes, 14 seconds. Two minutes, 14 seconds. Which is... 134 seconds. Now, for an approximate calculation, that's not bad, is it? 